What's up you guys and welcome to my channel, Nursing with Key. My name is Kia Selena and on my channel I talk mainly about nursing but I just recently started incorporating beauty and now I'm about to start a hair journey so we're gonna be talking a lot more about hair. So if you are into hair, beauty and nursing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video from me. Again. Well, as you guys just saw, saw by the title, I'm gonna be chopping this mess off. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys why because I mean I told a lot of people that I was gonna that I was thinking about chopping my hair and Everybody's wilding out like it's such a big deal. What is wrong with people like being so scared to cut their hair? It's just hair, but anyway, so about four years ago. I did a big chop I cut my hair completely really 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 short. It was a twa um, because I was basically natural in the back of my head and my the front of my hair was it was just a hot mess I mean I had I didn't know much about lace fronts and they weren't as popular back then and I was wearing weaves all the time I had a leave out and so my leave out ended up going from it was this long like the front of my hair was this long and it was literally up to here to the point where my leave out was so straight and so short that I needed to put gel I was using jam to slick my leave out down you know struggling ass leave out and I was still trying to hold on to it because I just didn't want to cut my hair eventually you know the the natural hair movement really started flourishing and blowing up on YouTube and I was seeing all these girls chopping their hair off and growing it back within a year and I was just like you know what why am I holding on to this dead piece of hair I mean I have a full fro in the back of my head and I'm basically three inches away from being bald. I mean alopecia in the front of my head like something has to get I chopped my hair off and to a twa, you know, I started growing it. It was absolutely beautiful I mean my hair really started to flourish once I cut it off and um, I Cut it off and after a year I decided to go blonde So I'm gonna post a picture right here of when I first cut it and then I'm gonna post a picture of about maybe six months down the line if I could find one and then a year so I was blonde. I went like from my natural hair color to like a brownish to blonde. And then I was blonde for about a year, a little over a year, and then I decided to go red. Now when I was blonde, my hair was extremely brittle. It was dry, you know, it was growing, but it was so dry because of the bleach. And then I got bored of the blonde. I didn't want to be a blondie anymore, and I decided to go red. I'm gonna post a picture of when I went red. When I went red, my hair really started to flourish. I mean, it got healthy, it was moisturized, it was doing really, really good. But the thing with red dye, I mean, when you go blonde, you're blonde. I mean, it stays blonde. But when you go red, red doesn't stay, it doesn't last. It's something, even if you put permanent dye, it's something that kind of washes out over time. And then you have to keep reapplying dye. And because I kept reapplying the dye, eventually, I ended up getting heat damage. So as you guys can see, there's this side of my hair is curly, you know, it's all right. I wouldn't say it's too damaged, but this side of my hair, like it, it, these aren't even curls, like these are like waves. Look at the ends, you know, it's just a hot mess. And this side is actually more damaged than this side. So as you guys can see, this side sits more than this side does. This side is, you know, still like up there, Whereas they are the same length like if I pull on both sides, they are the both the same length I just recently trimmed like a good three inches of my hair because when I was um, in Michigan um, You guys know that my ex my ex baby used to live well lives in Michigan And when I was over there, I straightened my hair, which I will post right here It was beautiful. It was bouncy. It was flowy and I cut my hair But I think I might have heat damaged my hair on top of the head the color damage that I already had and no it's just a hot mess so I'm gonna cut my hair now my mom is a hairdresser so I'm gonna get her to touch it up and even it out but if I don't cut it now I'm not gonna end up cutting it and then no progress is gonna be made and anyway it's fall we're going into winter and I usually protective style during winter anyway so I'm pretty confident that if I chop this bullcrap off you know I could probably get my hair back to this length by summer and this is still like an awkward like I really don't miss having a twa because there's really nothing at all you can do with it but whatever I'm just gonna chop it off so you know what without further ado let's get started. first thing I'm gonna do is really saturate the hair with water and that's because I want my curls to activate because I don't want to end up cutting more than I have to I really just want to cut 
what's damaged. And you guys can see that even with all this water. And I used to be low porosity. The color made me high porosity. I mean, my hair used to take forever to dry. And now, literally, I could soak and saturate my hair in water in the shower. Come out of the shower, and two minutes later, my hair will be dry. I mean, begging for water. It's gross. I don't like it. Hey, y'all, so don't cry. For those of you who are, you know, huge, like, on having the proper scissors and stuff, these are not the proper scissors. Like, these are literally hospital scissors. But, like I said, I'm gonna go to my mom's hair salon and get it, like, properly evened out and stuff like that. I'm just trying to get get this hair off of my head because, like I said, if I don't do it now, I'm gonna end up checking it out later or getting too lazy and I won't end up doing it. So, let's do this. Freedom. All right guys so this is what it is looking like um i almost want to shave down the sides i feel like this part kind of looks awkward it looks cuter when i tuck it behind my ear i don't know if you guys know what i mean but anyway this is what it's looking like it's probably gonna look a little bit different once it is dry but personally i am loving it i'm already loving it i'm already seeing that you know my my curls are doing a little something a little something they weren't doing before if we look at a clip right here of what it was like before you know it was completely straight it wasn't even curls it was waves now you know they're not at their best but like I said, I think this will be easy to revert back or a little easier to revert back than what I had before. So personally, I'm loving this. I feel cute. I feel free. And it's gonna be whack because this is basically the hairstyle I'm gonna have to rock unless I do a protective style because there's not much you can do with a toile. But I like it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.